those people. <laughs> and, he gets, and he said, I'll talk to the producer. The next day, Michael Lang called me. Man of few words, he said, Chip says we need you. I'm sending you $500 and an airline ticket. And that was it. And I went out there and spent three weeks photographing all the construction. This is on, on the stage. The, uh, that's uh, Grace Slick and the Jefferson Airplane. There's Bill Graham kneeling down. Uh, here they are, the hippie carpenters up there building this great deck at the bottom of the alfalfa field. And there's Grace Slick. <coughs> Sally Mann was the girlfriend of the drummer, and I, I knew her from Hollywood, and I actually found her recently on Facebook. She's a, an attorney in Dallas. <laughs> this was the moment, though. This was the moment. He was supposed, Jimmy was supposed to end the show Sunday night, but they were so backed up, he went on at dawn Monday morning. And then he played the Star Spangled Banner, which was so startling and surprising. Because we were a whole field of 500,000 peace and love hippies, you know. We were against the war, against the military, against the president, and all. And then he's playing, well, that's their song. That's not our song. But then, wait, maybe he's reclaiming it for us. Right? So I don't know what was in his mind, but it was I'm sure something. Oh, here's John Sebastian in his tie-dyes out there at the end of the stage, playing for... He came over from Woodstock that day. He wasn't on the bill. He just came to see his friends. And the next act had not arrived by helicopter. So uh, someone shoved the guitar in his hand and said, quick, go out there, sing something. And he sang to that crowd like it was his best friend. You know? And years later, he told me, he said, yeah, I remember. He said, you know how you sit across from a, a table with a friend and you pass the joint back and forth? He said, that's, that's what it felt like to me. You know. That was a great moment. Um, ah, here's a, this is Woodstock '99. One of the hangers, and uh, it, was, it was, you know, a bit of nudity and all the Woodstocks. But uh, look at the, the the monk is just trying to hold her hand, right? It's the other guy, and it's a, a, a reach around. <laughs> That's Woodstock '99. This picture actually got used in uh, Neil Young's Mirror Ball. Uh, album, if you have that. Of course, crowd surfing. Now, this isn't 69, this is 94. I photographed Woodstock 69, 94, and 99. They had no crowd surfing in 69. That uh, hadn't been invented. No one thought of it. But, but 94, plenty of it. Uh, oops, wait a minute. <laughs> well, I think, we're, I think I, we have to stop here. Oh, no. Eagles, okay. I'll go through it. Eagles, Desperado, Earth Games, see these are out of order, playing his guitar. Keith Richards and the New Barbarians, waiting, waiting by the limo. Chris Christopherson up at Caribou Ranch with his daughter, Casey. Kurt Cobain, kind of a magic shot. I don't know how I got it, but it was a big surprise to me. Uh, Tom Waits, oh, yeah. writing uh, the music for One from the Heart. There's John, he's tied out. Tied out his sheets and his pillowcase and everything. What's that? They tied his No, he didn't tie dye his guitar. The Hollies, uh, that, that, uh, for certain because it's an English album cover. There's the Eagles uh, laughing. We're all on peyote buttons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Woodstock, you see? This, the, uh, up. There we are on top of the mountain, the Joshua Tree, and that coffee pot has a peyote tea bubbling away in it. <laughs> so, oh, here's Woodstock 94. And I just love that picture because it looks timeless to me. I can say, Yugoslavia, 1873. <laughs> I mean, I know they kissed back then, right? But I don't know if they had a hash pipe. <laughs> Probably, though, right? I mean, there's the hollies that uh, met, uh, with the eleven spoonful. Oh. I think we're done. Oh. So, oh. Let me go back to Joni. No, yeah, Joni. <laughs> There's Joni playing her dulcimer up in Laurel Canyon. But this is my traditional the end. <laughs>